Hey guys, Matt with Atlantic Firearms out here at the range today. A little bit hot, a little bit humid, a whole lot of fun though. We got a new gun here from Zastava USA. They imported it from Zastava over in Serbia. This is the Z90. It's uh, come in here to replace like the M90 that was previously imported uh, that Zastava in Serbia had made. This gun is really nice. The guys at Zastava USA have attention to detail as far as the import goes. There are three gas settings on this gun. It has an 18 and a quarter inch barrel slant brake optic rail on the side, Zukov stock, you know, nice bolt. Of course, it shoots 5.56 five, by 45 or 223. And of course, all the other Yugo classic stuff, like got the Hogue overmold here in the front. These two little pockets can get knocked out. You can put some rail in there. Really cool package overall. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this thing. I got this thing on gas setting number two with one of the polymer Zostava mags. Eager to shoot this, guys. Not a lot of 5.56 five, AK offerings out on the market right now, especially with the uh, SLR 106 is really drying up. So let's go ahead and run this. Bolt hold open. Last round bolt hold open in the polymer mag, guys. Really nice. Gun runs super flat. Really nice recoil managed on the number two setting here. Uh, they recommend that you break it in on number three, but we'll talk more about that in the rest of the video, guys. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing again. Still testing the Z90 here, really cool gun, loving the extra barrel length here, flat shooter, adjustable gas. We have tried a multitude of 5.56 magazines in this gun. Since we've had it, we've tried the FB 5.56 uh, AK mag, we've tried the WBP 5.56 AK mag, the Arsenal uh, Waffle 5.56 mag, also uh, the Zostava Steel mag. Now these won't come with the Zostava Steel 5.56 mag, they come with the polymer mag but all these different magazines do work. Might be a, a little challenging getting some of them in and out just a little bit. The first couple times, some of the polymer ones will need to uh, mate up with your gun, but once that's done, they all do load and fire as they should. So let's go ahead and continue our testing here. Bolt hold open again, guys. That's reinforced with a little steel cap on the back of the polymer follower. Really nice. These are also reinforced in the front and rear lugs. So nice magazine by Zostava. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and continue our testing, guys. It's been a great day of testing of the Z90 rifle. Been really happy with the way it's performing. And uh, we just decided to give it a little action with the suppressor. So we broke out the Wolverine PBS-1. Went ahead and mounted that, mounted that up, tightened it down, adjusted the gas back to the number one gas setting. All of our other shooting today has been on the number two gas setting. Zostava recommends you break this gun in on the number three gas setting. The reason we didn't is because this gun's already broken in. This was the sample gun that Zostava had and they went ahead and they were kind enough. Uh, guys over at Zostava Ranko, thank you very much. Uh, and Ben over there for sending this stuff or sending this rifle to us. So we were able to take a, you know, a sneak peek of it before really a whole lot of other people have. Um, so another piece of equipment that we threw on here today is going to be the RS Regulate 306M mount with the primary arms optic. This, this is mounted via the RS AKML part that mounts to the top of any of his lower rails. The 306 is the forward bias Yugo rail, 307 is the full length Yugo rail. So um, those may or may not be in stock at the time that you see this video but definitely check them out if you're looking for a mounting option for an optic on, uh, on one of your Yugo rifles. Well, so without any further ado, let's hear how quiet this is. Let's check it out. Oh! Guys, it's full power, 5.56, five, 18 and a quarter inch barrel. Man, what a joy to shoot. The recoil is really nice it's really light very easy to manage and the gun shoots really well with the long barrel over here decided to bring the the z90 to the table so you guys can take a better look at it and see it from the inside because it's got some uh, really cool features about it so of course you guys saw the zukov stock we used that earlier got that nice length adjustment folder let's go ahead and break this thing down much like most serbian guns you got a push button release on the top cover go ahead and take that off Got to use the push button release on the recoil rod. Get this bad boy out of here. Guys, notice the uh, length of the piston on this gun is 
much longer than you would see on uh, other AKs here, standard AKMs. Also notice the piston head is ported and the piston head is hollow. It's pretty neat, it's different. We like different. So hollow here for the gas to come in and bleeds out of the holes on the side. This is restricted by this cup in the front. If you guys don't know about this, you can use this little groove on the side of your bolt carrier. It works really good to open up your gas tube. You can see this gas tube is ported additionally as well. We've got two ports here. And then of course on the top, this is the adjuster lock that's been riveted on the top. And here's the gas cup itself. Joker's still a little hot because we just shot it. Come on out of there. Okay guys, that thing was pretty hot and it definitely needed a second for that to cool off. But once it did cool off, we were able to get it apart. And here's the gas cup. You can see on the gas cup, there's three holes. Largest hole being closest to you now. Number two hole, number one hole right there. And that of course relates with the piston here, which we talked about being hollow and then being ported, captured in there. Works really well for managing that gas. So really, really neat design by the guys over, guys and girls over at uh, Zastava in Serbia. Let's go ahead and show you guys how this goes together. Basically now that it's cooled down a little bit, you, you just put the gas cup in with this one teardrop up and then you spin it around to whatever setting you want. And then you can install your gas tube. We're gonna set it back to the number two setting because that's probably the most versatile setting. Got that gas tube down there good. Locked into place. Really cool thing about the Serbian guns and about, you know, Yugoslavian guns in the past was see that the lock on the top cover doesn't release until you hit the button and then it all gets locked together. Really nice, no slapping and, and all that. So guys, really nice looking gun overall. Das was known for that. Definitely known for a well-built running military rifle. And that's what we have here, guys. Really like it a lot. Definitely check it out. You got questions? comments, et cetera, salesatlanticfirearms.com. You can always reach us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. We appreciate you guys tuning in and definitely check out this from Zastava and other products from Zastava. And thank you guys at Zastava for hooking us up.